people. As more and more businesses get the green light to reopen, others are feeling left out. Now there's a push to reopen skating rinks and bowling alleys. State lawmakers have sent another bill to Governor Cooper, which would override his own executive order. It authorizes reopening bowling alleys and skating rinks. Rules would be similar to other businesses. Have capacity, employees wearing masks, frequent cleaning, and signs reminding about social distancing. Republican Representative John Hardister supports it. We're taking the virus seriously, and that's why we have safety protocols uh, written into this bill. Uh, that, that they would have to follow. And I'm confident that business owners would implement the, the protocols for safety. I'm confident that uh, patrons would be careful and that they would be safe. It's not meant to be an affront to the governor's uh, authority. It, it's, it's a check and balance. On the other side of the aisle and the other side of the debate, Democratic Representative Pricey Harrison opposes the bill. I think that it's unfortunate that a lot of these are mom and pop operations, and um, I feel very, I feel very much for them. But at the same time, there's no, it just, it's not clear that they can be open safely yet. In a statement, Governor Cooper's press secretary said this bill would limit the ability of local and state leaders to respond quickly to COVID-19 outbreaks that could overwhelm our medical system and endanger the health and safety of North Carolinians. The bill would also allow minor league baseball stadiums to reopen, not for games necessarily, but for events. In Greensboro, Alma McCarty, WFMY News 2.